to my channel. These days, so many of us find ourselves not tolerating dairy as well and needing to find alternatives to milk. And today I'm gonna to show you an easy way to make coconut milk at home. And one of the benefits to that is when you buy the coconut milk in the carton at the store, it's filled with so many other things that keep it shelf, that keep it stable even in your refrigerator for longer and different thickeners and things. But being able to make it at home, you can control and know exactly what's in it. There's nothing extra in it. Now there are some companies that make good um, coconut milk and almond milk that don't add all that extra stuff to it, but they're a bit more pricey. So that's why I love to be able to make it at home and save some money, but also know that you're not having, adding all of that extra stuff into your body. So it's really simple. You need coconut, shredded coconut and water. We're starting here today with about two cups of unsweetened shredded coconut. And I'd like to just, I usually just get it off of Amazon um, in a bulk bag here like this one. And then I have it on hand ready to go. So then you wanna get about four cups of hot water, not quite boiling, but good and hot. So Eliana, do you wanna add the four cups of water to our blender? Okay, go ahead. Once you get that in, you want to put your lid on and stick it in your blender on high for about two to three minutes and I will see you in two to three minutes. Okay, it's been two to three minutes that we've blended this on high and now I have a fine mesh strainer and my nut bag and I'm going to go ahead and pour it into that. And it's a bit hot to handle just yet, so I would let it sit a few minutes and we will see you. All right, we are back. We've given the coconut a chance to cool off a little bit. Then you wanna go ahead and take your nut bag and just squeeze it out and get all of the milk out. And I have tried this recipe without the nut bag before. You can do it. At this point, I would just use something to press down on the coconut if you don't have the nut bag. However, even with the fine mesh sleeve, you are gonna get bits of coconut in your milk. If you're okay with that, you can do without the nut bag. But I found that we like the consistency much better when we take the time to use the nut bag. So we're gonna let it drip and set it aside. Never discard your coconut pulp. I love being able to use that rather than letting it go to waste. I love using it in baked goods. Um, I use it for energy balls that I make and smoothies. So never let that go to waste. Now we are going to pour this in to our pitcher. Now, if your goal is to make the coconut milk that you would get in the can that has that's pretty thick, this is what you have at this point. You'll notice when you stick it in the fridge, the top part of it is gonna harden. It's gonna separate the um, fat part and you would have like the canned coconut milk. I am going to stick it in the fridge, let it cool off and harden, and I will show you what to do with it next. We'll see you in a little bit. Hello everyone, I'm back and a few hours later we do have the coconut milk. If you can see the top here is a little bit thicker um, and that is the, the fat part. So I just take a spoon in here and put this into a separate bowl here. And then I found that it helps to run it through the sieve and the nut bag one more time 
because you don't perfectly get all the chunks out and it just filters all that out one more time. So I'm just gonna dump that through. And then shake that out. Set this aside. There you have it. Coconut milk ready to go. And once again, I don't like to waste this part. Um, if you don't already have plans or a recipe to use this, I love to just add a little bit of vanilla and maybe stevia and um, beat it up and use it for a coconut whip on desserts. It's very delicious. And that's it for today. Hope to see you again next week.